Hello and welcome to Cheshire Audio. Now, today I'm going to talk about uh, Faro stages. Initially, what I was going to do here, I was going to start to do a few reviews and compare different models and things like that. But actually, uh, as I was sort of setting up, I thought, actually, probably what I should do is a get back to basics explanation of what a Faro stage is. Because I don't, there's an awful lot of people, I get a lot of phone calls from people who are sort of coming back into it. Um, or a new, like, there's a lot of sort of youngsters who are new to this and they don't sort of understand uh, the record player is actually different to everything else, hence needing a phono stage. And if you sort of think about it, um, everything really, CD players, tuners, tape decks, mobile phones, DVD players, TVs, if they've got an audio out, it's line level. It's all, they're all the same. You can plug any of those into an auxiliary on a, on a little mini system or into a line in on, on a standard hi-fi amplifier. It's, it's, a, it's kind of an industry standard. The only one that is different is the record player, and the record player needs another circuit because it's very, very low output. If you plug the record player straight into a, a line, line input on an amplifier and turn it onto volume onto full, you can barely hear it. It's, it's multiple times quieter. It's also not a flat response. It's got a big lump in it and it's all over the place, so it needs equalizing. So it's not a straightforward circuit, it's quite complex. Uh, it's quite a difficult circuit to get right. It's because it's amplifying signals from such a low level. Uh, they're very sort of susceptible to picking up noise and amplifying that noise. So it's it's not a straightforward thing. So, if you want to use a record player in a hi-fi system, one you need an amplifier that has actually got a record player input on it, which would be one, like one of these boxes, but within the amplifier built in. Or you need, if you've got an amplifier that doesn't have that, you will need a separate box. Now, how far you take that is kind of down to how into it you are, I suppose. I think if um, if you've, you've bought a record player and you want to sort of give it a go, um, and you've, perhaps you've got an old MIDI system or you've got an amplifier that hasn't got a, phono, a record player input on it, um, the thing to go for is just a budget little phono stage like this. There's, you know, 75 quid... Um, Little project MM. You could go to a, a Riga mini phono. Um, that's the sort of thing. That's what these are intended for. Is a sort of get you going. I mean, they're great circuits and they sound really good, but um, they're intended to to not to replace a phono stage, but to be the phono stage in the system. So you, you plug your record player into the project or the the, the Riga mini phono, and then plug that into your amplifier, and it's this con will then convert it. The signal to line level, so it's the same as everything else. So you can just unplug it in, and it's fine, and it works. If you've already got an amplifier that's got a phono stage in it, no problem. You just plug into there, select record player when you when you're listening to records, and the amplifier sorts it out. There's a bit of confusion going on because a lot of the forums are sort of almost saying you've got to have an external phono stage. It's the only way to do it. They are kind of right if you're really into it. If you are sort of going to get the nth degree out of your records. The phono stage is a very, very important circuit. But if you're, like I say, coming back into it, I've, I've had people who've got, say, got an old NAD 3020, and it's like, well, should I buy, should I buy a 75 pound project? Should I buy a Riga mini phono for it? There's not a lot of point. You will get a bit of an improvement. It, it's because purely by being, except, being separate, because like I say, there's a matter, of, the problem with the phono stage within an amplifier is there's a lot of noise within the and it takes a lot of effort from the manufacturers to isolate that and stop the noise trickling through into the circuit. So having it separate, purely on its, you know, purely that will improve the sound of it. But at that sort of money, you're not necessarily going to really improve on the internal circuit. So I would say that this this sort of thing is really just for the people who haven't got a phono stage and want to get well listen to the records. If you want to get more serious about it, like I say, perhaps you've got an old NAD or something like that, and you like your old NAD, you don't want to swap your amplifier, but you want to improve things, you could then say go to a, a, a Phono MM, this go up to a couple hundred pounds or so. Um, because like I say, that is a very important circuit, it will improve things noticeably in the clarity and everything. And then after this, if you start getting more into it, you've got a better amplifier or you've got a better amplifier that hasn't got a phono circuit and you want to really move things on, then you can start looking at Tom Evans and you can start looking at Exposure and the Riga Aria and all this little Lehman 
whatsoever. There's, there's a massive, massive choice, a huge choice. Um, Tom Evans go from £600 up to £20,000. Lehman, uh, this one's about three fifty. dollars go up to a couple of thousand pounds. Riga even, uh, you know, go up into the thousands. Exposure, I only do this one, but £800 now-ish. Just gone up, eight fifty now. So there's huge choice. I can understand being, people being really confused about it, to be honest. But like I say, if you're just sort of wanting to listen to your records and you just, you know, want to get your record, a record player to work with your system, um, and you don't feel as though you're going to go on with it necessarily any more than just playing your old vinyl. Things like this are just ideal for it. Just gets you, gets you going. Nice, clean, clear circuit. Similar to an, in, an inbuilt. Um, so, yeah, hopefully that's helpful from that point of view. But, uh, yeah, like I said, I, the, other, the other thing that people um, are a little bit confused about is what to call them as well, because I've had people ring up and say, I, I, think, I, need a, I think I need a preamp. Now, a preamp is one half of a, an amplifier. In, in, in real terms, is it one half of an amplifier? It's the bit with all the controls on it that directs the signal to the power amp section, and the power amp section makes it go louder. This isn't actually a preamp as such. It's, you could call it a pre-preamp because it goes before the preamp in an amplifier. I've got to start confusing people now. It, you could call it, probably more accurately, you would call it a phono preamp or a phono stage, or if you've been really pedantic, an RIAA, RIAA stage, which there's probably a whole level of pedantry above that, to be honest, and I'm sure that, that, that it'll appear in comments, because there's all the there's all the variants of that. Um, so, yeah, like I say, lots of confusion. Um, hopefully this has sort of cleared things up a little bit. I will move on to doing reviews of all these different things, because there are... Definite differences between phono stages, different sort of matchings and all sorts of things, different capabilities. Uh, we come on to the, the difference between moving magnet and moving coil. Um, basically, moving coil is an even lower output version of moving magnet, so you need even more amplification, and hence there's more potential for noise. But if you get it right, it's brilliant. Um, so we'll talk. We'll look at that in, in a future video. But for now, I'll just leave it at that. It's just why you need a, it's why you need a, a phono stage, what it does. Um, and whether or not you need to swap the, to external, if you, if you, you know, if, like I say, if you're on the edge of it, and you're not necessarily going to start upgrading through, you know, getting into, into the, the sort of madder end of it, then perhaps stay at this sort of level because it's fine; it will work. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to give a subscribe and a like, and um, I will see you in a future video. And I forgot to have a drink of tea. My voice is, was was cracking before, but. I, I soldiered on, soldiered on. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching. See you soon. Thank you.